How's it going guys, it's Najam, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to review the Beelon 03. So these are really cheap IEMs and these cost me just £17, around about there, from eBay. Now on Amazon they cost £30, so go ahead and look on eBay or AliExpress, you'll probably find them for a really cheap price. So these are less than half the price of the SoundMagic E11s, which were my main, you know, IEMs or I mean earbuds that I used because they were cheap and I didn't mind if I lost them or something. I do have the few FH5s and some of the others and you know these don't, may not be the best sounding but they are pretty up there. In fact the only other IEMs that I like more than these are probably the FH5s because they sound you know well a better I guess but they are in a different price range. Now if you look closely they are built out of metal. As you can see and uh, they look pretty stylish now one of the things I should actually tell you is that judging by the shape you can probably tell that they don't really go inside your ear like 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 really deep um, the nozzle is actually not the longest you'll find it's a lot like the few FH5s, but they, they sort of sit into your, onto your ear. <clears throat> These don't really go in and, they, well, because of the shape of them, they don't really um, get a really good seal unless you have some longer tips like these. Now, they actually came with these, so I was fortunate. Um, you can try something like the spin fits or um, the other ones that they come with, the rounded ones, like the default ear tips that you get with any other earbud, they don't really work because they don't really create a seal or anything they just push this out and they just well <laughs> really they just don't work so you're going to need something like the longer ear tips to get the best out of these and the other thing is the cable now as you've noticed uh, i've been using the default cable that they came with uh, and this cable in my opinion is so 50 50 it's not the best quality um if you look at the right angle plug um the cable itself is okay but it's not like the best quality like you can clearly tell that you know it's definitely holding back these in terms of the sound quality and i'll have to agree with that you know this cable isn't really the best quality but for a cable that you get with the ims this is it's okay really it's better than some of the others i've seen So if you're gonna use these, make sure you get a better cable. Now, I didn't get another cable because I'm not really planning on um, using these as my main. And uh, there's a good reason, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, there's a good reason that I'm actually not gonna keep these as my main. Um, I'll actually use them with anything else. Just not with the Core Rel Electronics Hugo 2 for serious music listening. And I'll get on to that in just a moment. So the cable is 50-50. Get a better one if you can. Um, you know, the ones I've looked at, they cost £20. So this is more than the IEMs themselves. So that's why, I, you know, I didn't really bother buying a cable. But uh, again, it is advised that you should. Now let's get on to the sound quality. And then afterwards I'll talk about why I'm not going to use them. But that's personally just my preference. So um, everything is really really cool i love the sound out of these it's got a really nice sound stage it actually sound stage is uh, more like an oval shaped so it doesn't have as much depth as um, the few fh5s or the dt770 pros or something but again you know really different things um but they do have a really wide sound stage um the detail is really cool i mean especially considering that they are just 20 pounds you know it's unbeatable at this price range it's just really really something the sound quality of these is just phenomenal um i actually like the sound more than the few fh5s because these sound really really natural now they do have a really balanced sound so mid size and the bass is pretty neutral uh, or natural sounding and yes it does sound very very natural um there is however just a tiny ever so slight little bit boost in the bass these are a single dynamic drivers so you know there's that um the hiss is lower than the fio fh5s as well on the hugo 2 as well as the mojo so 
you're gonna get and I, honestly it didn't really bother me um so i'm perfectly fine with the amount of hits that they get it's just not really an issue for me um so sound quality wise uh, i can't say anything bad about it i mean for 20 pounds you're getting quite a lot of good sound quality out of them so definitely definitely do recommend them look let me put it this way if you don't have these you can you should go buy them right now because they are really cheap if you if you lose them or if they get stolen there's less to worry about you know instead of something like the campfire audios they are expensive um and you know they sound good but you know they are expensive so even if you have anything better than these um just go ahead and get them because they're just really cheap you know you're gonna like them get a bare cable if you want to use these as your mains or something and just get a bare cable anyway because it's just a whole lot of fun and it's a hobby now uh so really nothing but to say about these go ahead and check them out i'll leave a link in the description make sure you go pick them up now let me get on to personally why i'm not going to use these now i'm actually going to use these like forever for watching movies or something that i do on the tablet that i've got but for something like uh, serious music listening with the core electronics hugo 2 I find that these just sort of hold it back a bit. Mm, I, it's a bit of a funny thing to say, but I think I'm sort of looking for a plane and magnetic driver. So I'm interested to see how the Tin Hi Fi P1 work with the Hugo 2 because the amount of detail and everything that pulls out, you know, I think it's too much for these. Um, the single dynamic driver, I do find that. And I'm being nitpicky again, you know nothing really to worry about the sound quality but i'm really sensitive and i can hear that you know when there's a lot of going on in the music this sort of just shifts it along a bit um and it loses out on different different nuances and that's just something that i've heard um but compared to a lot of the other things like the comet few fh5 fa1s it's around about the same with the with the exception of the FH5s. They do obviously have multiple drivers, so it's a lot easier for them to keep up with the detail and everything. Um, when there's a lot of stuff going on, um, it's easier for them to just hold it. So yeah, I'm interested in uh, getting the P1s, which I'll get next, um, because I'm interested just to see how they would sound. And I heard a lot of good things about them, so I think I'm gonna like those more than these. So for serious music listening, I don't think these are my end game. What I, that's what I'm looking for. But these are really, really amazing, especially you know considering the price. It is quite something. Um, so yeah, um, make sure you go subscribe. I'm gonna get the P ones next and see how they fare up. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be better because they do cost quite a bit more than these. Um, and hopefully those are my gonna be my end game. <laughs> but um, yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, anyways, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you guys in uh, another video.